Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, during campaign, Ricardo Gashagwa told Kenyans and confirmed to the world that at least for the first time, the Church of Christ is having a candidate. This was the same group that had managed to brand Uhuru Kenyatta as a person who is a drunkard, a man who, it was like, he's not a God-fearing person. And by confirming that at least for the first time, William Ruto was the candidate of the Christ, then it means they were saying that for the past time, all the leaders we have had in this country, they were not God-fearing or they were not that kind of the, uh, the package from the church. So Ruto was a package from the church. As you're speaking now, whichever means Ruto managed to get to power, he is in the state house. And when he's in the state house, there is one thing Kenyans are trying to do here. They are trying to compare that man, Gashagwa told Kenyans, that he's the candidate of Christ. A man from the church, a person who don't drink, a person who is God-fearing, is being compared to the people Gashagwa seemingly was referring to as drunkardness, the people who are ungodly, because for them, Raila and Akunwa, Uhuru and Akunwa, Kibaki alikuwa and Akunwa, and how wengine, sababu waliwekwa pamoja. So, Kenyans are doing a comparison. The candidate wa Kanisa na candidate wa Ulevi. And for the past 10 months, Ruto has been in the state house. It has confirmed, if indeed, that's how Gashaga was packaging William Ruto, and that's how Ruto had brought himself on the ballot. Then Ruto has given a bad name to the church. Ruto has betrayed the church, and seemingly, it's like Kenyans prefer to have Mutumulevi than that package from the church. So the package from the church is the worst compared to the other package that the Shagwa, William Ruto, and the Kenya Kwanza side demonized. My friend sent me a video from the Bungala Wanainchi, and they are really explaining it clearly, the reason why it is better we could have Raila and not William Ruto. And the comparison is between the current Ruto we are having in set house, Visavi, Uhuru, Kibaki and others. Watch this video shortly. Babu yangu alikuwa mulevi. Rais Daniel Tarotich, Rais wa pili alikuwa mulevi. Rais wa tatu wa Jamhuri, Mwai Emilio Kibaki alikuwa mulevi. Rais wa ine wa Jamhuri, my boss, Uhuru Kenyatta mtoto wa mamangena alikuwa mulevi. Rais wa wamu wa tano ndugu wa Yesu Kristo Ambao lichakuliwa na mungu Ndugu wa Yesu Kristo mudogo Nicholas Pope Rais William Samera Pruto Ambaya akunyi pombe Avuti sigara Avuti bangi Bada ya mwesi sita Katika bajeti yake ya, kusa, ya kulala na kukula Ametumia 5 billion Ouru kinyata mba ni mulevi Mubuta, mubuta bangi Mba ni samekana yeye elevi Ye ni mulevi Alitumia 2.5 billion Ni nani muhisi katia wawili Sasa natuambie ye ni asula Wakati muta na, makati ya ye anatupora Ye anasema ye si mulevi Ye si ye, ye avuti, po, avuti, avuti bangi Tuwata kusema hivi Wakati mefika ya kwamba Hau wandugu wa Yesu Kristo Mba inachakuliwa na mungu Watoke kwa ofisi Lazima tuchagwe wa levi wetu. Now we are continuing with the panel discussion, but just a quick request. For those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our return subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now if you do your comparison here, you are going to agree with the Bungele Wanainchi. That there is no any other time Kenyans have suffered, even during Corona, when things were very bad, than when they are now in William Ruto's hands as the CEO of the country. Seemingly, William Ruto has proved that he's a president who can spend more than what Kenyatta spent, more than what Moi was spending, more than what Kibaki was spending, more than what Uhuru, who was referred to as a drunkard person, was spending. He has done it three times. 
So it means this is what a package from the church can do. And that means if Ruto is not doing what the church and the spirit they have to distance themselves from William, Samway, Ruto, they have to come out and condemn what Ruto is doing. And if not, then they are accepting William Ruto to give a bad name to the church. Because in as much Ruto is overspending more than any other president, reality is that we are in a very difficult situation. We are in an economic problem. But it's like the man in the state house is too much blind to see or realize that people are suffering. The way Ruto is spending in the state house, and then you go and see the kind of life some Kenyans are living. In fact, most of them. I'm talking about people in Turkana. I'm talking about the people in, in, in uh, Baringo. I'm talking about the people in Eastern, across the country, in other areas. People are sleeping on empty stomach. The reason is that even if they have little money, they can't afford to buy food because Ruto is overtaxing every commodity in this country. So, you compare that with Uhuru Kenyatta. At least what Uhuru was spending was showing that he can cut down on expenses, cost cutting. He understood that he's leading a country which has more people, more poor people than the rich people. But Ruto's kind of spending shows that he's leading a country that is full of rich people. He don't recognize that majority of Kenyans are poor. That is the lifestyle of William Ruto. So compare the lifestyle of a drunkard person at the helm of power and that candidate of the crust at the helm of power. The lifestyle is totally different. Mlevi alikuwa natumia pesa kidogo. Huyu wa kanisa ana spend pesa nyingi sana. That is the truth. So you do a comparison, you feel that then if this is what the church was bringing to us, they delivered hell. So the church has delivered hell. Unless they will come out and say what Ruto is doing is not in the interest of the church or it's not what the people, the Christians thought about. Because actually, I don't know why I was leaving the Muslim when he was saying that at least the Church of Christ has a candidate. I don't know. So Muslim is a candidate. yao. Na a kama wa Islam walikuwa a Ruto kura. Walikuwa a aje. Ama how did they took the Shagwa's position? Because even Ruto did not come out to condemn or uh, distance himself from Gashagwa's position. No, he did not. That means they were in agreement. Sasa muwane mambo vile naenda. Kumbe walewe wale zatumia pesa kidogo na wakawangoza vizuri. Kuliko wale watu ambao wamejita wa kristo. <laughs> Wakanisa. So that is what Bunga la Wanaiti is telling the world. The man we have in the state house does not have humanity. Like, what people would expect a Christian to first of all have humanity. When you have humanity, you will care about the hungry, needy, poor, orphans. And these are the category of people who are suffering in this country. Hmm? The needy are a majority. The hungry are many. The poor have no space. They have no chance. They have, you know, they, they don't have anyone to support them. And that's why you could hear the newly elected Nigeria president saying that it is time to let the poor to breathe. Do not strangle the poor. Ruto is strangling the poor in Kenya. It means if you don't have money, you cannot survive. It means even if you are trying to get out of poverty in your own small way, you can't make it. But in Kibaki season, 
during Uhuru Kenyatta's time, you could grow. Because ata wale watu tumaita kona ni kreators, they had their day. Wakati wa Kenya walikuwa nalia ya kwamba tuwezane na usuru ambayo wataka kweka, Ruto was listening. Uhuru was listening. And he was buying into people's position. William Ruto is too blind to see. He is too deaf also. He can't hear. He can't see. He can't listen. Sasa kati ya mlevi na mtu wa kanisa. Ni nani akwa na utu ama ni nani anaweza kuwa kiongozi? Can we conclude and say that the package from the church can't lead? <laughs> Or if they have to, then they are practicing dictatorship here. Because it's only a dictator who do not listen or buy into other people's position. Their word is final. Kenyans have complained about 2010, 2023 financial bill. 70% said no. But seemingly it's like we have a dictator who is determined to have his way. So can we conclude and say that the church delivered a package of dictators. Right from Gashagwa, you come to William Samuel Ruto. Can we say that? There are so many things we can talk about this. And I know you have all those examples you can try to compare and contrast between Uhuru, Ruto, Kibaki and all that. But all in all, what we are saying is that maybe Ruto was not a candidate of the church. His literally just lied to the church. Yeye alikuwa kwa ngozi ya kondo, lakini yeye alikuwa ni mbwa mwitu na wakristo walidanganya and that is the person we have in the state house